Should you invest in a money market fund or should you invest in a treasury bill? By the end of this video, you should be able to know which one earns you more interest. We're going to do calculations based on the same interest rates. We're going to head over to the Central Bank of Kenya website to find our interest rate for the treasury bill. That's the interest rate that we're going to be using to do the comparison. So in the Central Bank of Kenya website, under treasury bills, you're going to come across um, the 91-day treasury bill, the 182-day treasury bill, and the 364-day treasury bill. We are going to choose the one for 364 days because that's like a year. The previous average interest rate for a one-year treasury bill is 16.81%. So that's the interest rate that we are going to be using, okay? We are going to use a treasury bill calculator that is still on their website. So we're going to scroll down there. And, and in that calculator, we're going to key in 100,000 shillings as the face value, okay? Uh, we're going to select tax. Yes, it's going to be tax. And we're going to key in our interest rate, which is 16.81. We're going to choose the 364 days treasury bill. That is like a year. And then we're going to hit calculate. This is how our treasury bill works. Our face value is 100,000 Kenyan shillings. The face value is the amount of money that you're going to get at the end of the investment period. So in our case here, at the end of the 364 days, we should get 100,000 Kenyan shillings in our account. Then the price, the price here is 85.643. The price here means that for every 85 shillings that we give the government, 85.64 shillings, we will get a hundred shillings at the end of the period. So it's usually in a hundredth form. In essence, we're going to lend out the government 85,643 shillings. They're going to give us 100,000 Kenyan shillings. So we are going to make an interest of 14,357 shillings. But then there's the tax element, the 15% withholding tax. So the 15% is going to be taken off the interest that we've earned, which was 14,387, 357. So the actual interest that you are going to get in our account is 12,203.45, which is here. Now let's use the same interest rate on a money market fund. Okay, so we are going to head over to ivoyori.com website, and then we are going to click the money market fund calculator. Is a calculator on my website. So using that calculator, we are going to key in our principal amount. Our principal amount is going to be the amount of money that we were supposed to give the government exclusive of tax. We determined that it was 85,643 shillings. So this is the amount of money. We're going to use a similar amount of money for the investment, which is exclusive of tax, does not include tax. So we're going to key in 85,643 shillings. Um, for the time duration, we're going to choose one year. We're going to type in one year. And then for the interest rate, we're going to key in 16.41%. Compounding frequency is going to be monthly. Contribution, this means like any additional contribution that you'll make during the year. In this case, we are not going to be making any additional contribution. So it's still zero. And then click end of each period, then calculate. Based on the results that we have done from the money market fund calculator, we've determined that if you're going to invest 85,000 shillings, or rather if you're going to invest 85,643 shillings to a money market fund that earns you the same interest rate as that of, um, of a treasury bill, which is 16.81, you're going to get 15,559.25 shillings as your interest. This interest does not include the tax element. So we have to take out the tax element in actual sense. When you take away the 15% withholding tax, which is 2333, you're going to make 13,225.36 shillings as your interest. So if you're going to invest in a money market fund and in a treasury bill with the same interest rate and the same investment amount, you're going to make more money from a money market fund than from a treasury bill. It's just slightly higher, slightly higher. The difference is around 1,000 there. Yeah, it's almost the same. The truth of the matter is that most money market funds here in Kenya don't have such a high rate. Like getting 16.81%, yeah, you can get it, but most money market funds play between 10% um, to 16% with a few which are outliers that have such a high rate. They can even go up to 17%. So to be more realistic, 
you know. So let's use a calculation that uses 15% and then compare it to um, a treasury bill with 16.81% interest. So we are going to go to our money market fund calculator. We're going to key in a similar investment amount, which is 85,643 shillings. Then we are going to choose our interest rate as 15% this time. And of course, our duration is one year and... Uh, compounding is done monthly, no other contribution, contribution is zero, and we do the calculations, we'll figure out that our interest is going to be 13,767 shillings, 0 0.50. This amount of money is exclusive of tax. So when you take away the 15%, which is the withholding tax, you're going to have 11,702 shillings. This is the interest that you're going to get with a 15% percent money market fund interest and of course when you compare it to a treasury bill the one the one for 16.81 percent we can see that the amount for a treasury bill is higher okay then let's do another one because we also have money market funds that have that give 12 percent interest 12 to 11 percent so when we do another calculation for 12 percent interest we're still using a similar amount of the actual investment which is 85,643 when we do the calculations, um, compounding monthly, duration is one year, we'll find out that our interest is going to be 10,861. And then when we take away the 15% um, tax, we're going to remain with 92, 32 shillings. In short, in summary, if we use the same interest rate for a money market fund and a treasury bill, the same investment amount, the same duration, you're going to make more money with a money market fund. That is if the interest rate is the same. But if the interest rate is slightly lower for a money market fund, you're going to make more money with a treasury bill. Apart from the interest rate, two other things to consider when choosing between a money market fund and a treasury bill. Look at accessibility. If you think that you're going to need your money or you need to access your money within you know, one month, two months, or within a certain time period, then go for a money market fund because you can easily withdraw your money in less than 48 hours. But if you just want to lock your money for a whole year, for three months, for six months, and just leave it alone because you don't want to touch it, then go for a treasury bill. The other thing to consider is the additional deposits. With a money market fund, you can deposit as low as 100 pop and any time. But for a treasury bill, you have to invest in increments of 50,000 shillings. So let's say that your investment, your face value, like we said, is 100,000 Kenyan shillings. If you want to make any additional investment, it has to be 50,000 so that now it's 150. If you want to make any additional amount, it has to be another 50,000 so that now the face value is 200,000. But with a money market fund, you can deposit any time, any amount, you know, there are no restrictions. So you got to check your pocket. That being said, between a money market fund account and a treasury bill, which one would you invest in? Please share your thoughts on the comments and see ya.